Close call. I thought I got all the way to the gym and forgot my headphones, but I got them. Time to motivate, build some muscles. <laughs> All right, it's nine o'clock. Just pulled up at the gym, all right? Just trying to make sure I'm physically and mentally tough. That involves working out right here. So I made that video yesterday where we were at the beach and everybody like mobbed us while we were fishing. And looking back, I was like, that's kind of scary. It reminded me of that video of that chick that, or that dude that caught the stingray and that lady from the crowd came out and like attacked him. And it's like these people will like start yakking at how you're supposed to do it and why how you're doing it wrong and they're like all around you and you're trying to fool this fish to get him back in the water. It's really kind of scary and it's really kind of weird. I don't understand why they do that, but I guess everybody wants to see it and they're tourists, but like I feel like it could be a dangerous situation. Even Samantha said it was wild how everybody just kind of like mobbed on top of us and you know, everybody's judging you and you want to get a, fit, a picture, but they're all like, are you going to get back in the water? I was like, that, that was, that was wild. Close call. thought I got all the way to the gym and forgot my headphones, but I got them. Time to motivate, build some muscles. Also, if you're really wondering, I found my pellet gun. It's my Remington Airmaster 77. It's a total piece of junk, but I have been known to hit squirrels at long distances with this thing, and it's got a 32 power scope on it. 3 by 9 by 32. Army spent a bunch of money on me being able to shoot, and I found this thing, and it's tons of fun, and, and no squirrel is safe when I got this thing around, right? We got like T minus like month and some change, so we start lighting them up. And we got pecan trees, so you know what that means. Got a hammer down, I'm so doggone bushy tails. When the pecans drop, squirrels are in trouble. I'm not able to go fishing today. It's raining, it's super hot, it's like 97 out there right now. So I figured I'd answer some questions from you subscribers out there. It's that dog, like dog days of the summer where it rains like every day and it's miserable. It's like night fishing weather, you know what I mean? So. I'm gonna answer some questions. Figure I'd go ahead and shoot with number one. One of you guys out there asked me about the money making ideas, um, some of my mon money making theories out there, a reading list for growing personal wealth. So I came up with a few of them. All right, I'm doing this on my cell phone, so just bear with me. And I can't wear sunglasses, so I'll keep looking over here. First book. All right, first book. Are you ready? Getting, Getting Back to Even by Jim Cramer. It's an old book. It's an awesome book. It'll really give you some insight on how the market works. If you're investing for retirement, good book. Good book, good book, even though it's kind of old. Read it three times. Next book. All right, next book. Um, these reading lists are hard to find, so when you get a chance to listen to somebody's reading list, jump on it, all right? Next book, Real Money by Jim, Jim Cramer. This was like his book for his hedge fund back in the day. And it gives a little idea on how to do it. I love Jim Cramer. Uh, he's wrong sometimes, but sometimes he's right. So everybody's wrong sometimes. Next book I read, I've read all of his books, Getting, uh, Getting Get Rich Carefully, a little more up-to-date book. Um, it, it was a great read. Um, also, Stay Mad for Life uh, gives you a little... Um, idea on if you read all these old books you read how the market you'll understand how the market progressed if you're a stock trader out there. I forgot to tell you guys one more book that is a great book one up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch you must read that one I'd read all those I would read that one before I read all the rest of these because it's like a cheap uh, book on Kindle and Peter Lynch was one of the greatest stock traders in history follow his ideology adapt on it and overcome the market and oh oh can't forget Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich those are my top picks my top books that everybody should read 
even if you don't like money, but ever you can't do anything in this life without money. So, all right, the next book, all right, for you guys that are social media junkies and want to have a YouTube channel and want to get better at YouTube, this one was the best read I've read and I talk about it all the time, Jab, Jab, Left Hook by Gary Vaynerchuk. And you will have a new outlook on how social media works and you'll have a lot more exponential growth and you'll learn how to sell things on the internet properly. Awesome book. So read those books and that's my top picks for a reading list. All right guys, so you wanna know how to start a business on the fly or you wanna see how I fund my fishing operation? Check this out. All right, so I bought this whole entire box of ties for 20 bucks and I guarantee you I can make 100 out of it. There's every type of tie known man. There's silk ones, there's pretty ones, there's all kinds of name brands in here. I got that whole thing for like 20 bucks and I stuffed it underneath my bed until I needed a little extra cash. So now I'm going to take these and I'm going to list them on eBay and I guarantee you I make at least 100 bucks out of the whole deal. So if you're looking to start a business and you're looking to know you want some passive income, Granted, you got to list it on eBay over here, which I got it all ready. Spend a day, okay, looking around your house and find all the junk you got laying around, throw it in the middle of the floor. You'll really see you've got cash laying around that you can use. Monetize it, sell it on eBay, sell it at a garage sale, whatever you got to do, and then use that money to invest it in whatever you need, whether it's a mutual fund, grow the money or it's stocks or just buying something else and flipping that. You can really turn a few bucks into a bunch of bucks real fast. Because basically what you got, if it's just sitting underneath your bed, is a, de is a depreciating asset. So instead of letting it go bad and whatever underneath your bed, eating it all to pieces, sell it again because you're not using it and reuse that money for something else, whether it's fishing gear or it's getting rid of your student loans or fueling your retirement. So I guarantee you got something laying around that you can turn into money to use to buy and sell and grow an extra line of income just by using your head. My main focus with eBay is to always have something churning on there and uh, always have something selling and you'll realize that you can turn two into five into 10 to 20 to 50 real fast. Give you a little extra play money and your mind should always be thinking as you're walking down the road what is around you that you can buy and sell and make a quick dollar? Okay. Napoleon Hill said the difference between a rich man and a poor man is a rich man can walk down the sidewalk and tell you every little significant detail. He can tell you what was in every shop store. He can tell you what every crack in the in the walkway, and he's really observant in his environment. So that's something everybody needs to practice. Something I practice, and it's just a good tip about making money. So check this out. Another little thing I picked up: a silver tea set, right here. Boom, boom. Bought this thing for like probably 50 cents. And at 4.6 ounces times $16 an ounce, it's a good little chunk of change. You can really flip your money a lot faster uh, by buying and selling than you ever will in a mutual fund or a CD. And all I do is I put it on there, I try to get some uh, metal smith to give me the per ounce value. I really don't care if it's an an antique or not because he's going to smelt it down and make a belt buckle or something out of it and I stick it in these free priority mail flat rate envelopes and he gone and I just flipped my money and it take me three or four days for the auction to last and I'm on to the next yard sale on to the next money money making idea and um, for those of you who are asking how I'm making my money I'm gonna show you I'm gonna put it on here on these vlogs because you can't catch fish every day and it's something I do on my off time and uh, we're gonna see what kind of cool things we can buy and sell. I'm gonna vlog it, and it's gonna be awesome. I'm working on a lot of eBay ideas right now, selling stuff, putting stuff out there, because I just like the, I, I just love the lure of buying and selling. It's like the thrill to buy and the thrill to sell. To grow your wealth, and um, y'all wanted to know more about behind the scenes of this whole Yak Motley world, and that's it. We really have a whole bookshelf of stock trading books over here because you really need to be reading at least one book a day and consuming as much as you can on the internet or you will fall behind in this world because it's moving so fast.
everything we see today in 10, 15 years is going to be totally different. And a lot of us are going to be replaced by machines. It's just going to happen. So you got to stay ahead of the curve, educate yourself as much as possible. And it's uh, probably about all I got for today's vlog. I got to put something out there because that's just a rule. I got a new life goal. My new life goal is that silver play button, that 100,000 subscribers. See how long it takes me to get there. And if you guys are still with me by then, we'll celebrate together. It's going to be an awesome day. That's all I got for right now. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.